Hello, beautiful souls. This is Elena Maria Fouché with Mindfulness Made Easy, and I want to talk about tracking. So tracking is a really useful way for us to take something as intangible as a meditation practice and make it tangible. So why do I say that, and what the heck is tracking? So let me talk about what is tracking first, and then why to do it. So what is tracking? Tracking is very simple. It is just the idea of writing down notes about your practice. So generally what we write down is the date of our practice. So every time we practice, we write down the date. And then whatever we want to track or note our progress on. So that could be all kinds of things. You might want to practice or note down mm, how you felt today after your practice or what your progress was with a certain aspect of your practice, like how long did you practice today? Maybe you're trying to increase your practice from two minutes to three minutes, and you're doing that gradually. You're going from two minutes to two and a half, you're getting comfortable with two and a half, and then you're going to move up to three. So you can track how long did I practice today, for instance. You can also write down notes or inspirations that happen. Um, wow, I really realized that when I count my breath, it's much easier, or I realize that when I don't count my breath, it's much easier, things like that. So you start to see, like, hmm, what's happening today? What's happened yesterday? I really like it, for instance, because sometimes I start thinking, oh, man, I'm not practicing very much lately. And then I'll go back and I'll look, and I'll see that, actually, I practice five times a week for the past month, and then I'll feel much better. So. It's a great way to see what's happened over time. Also, of course, anything that we put attention and focus into grows. So it's yet another way to help create a consistent habit of meditation practice because it's another way to put energy and focus into our practice. And again, what we're doing is we're taking something that's pretty insubstantial or intangible and making it tangible. And that's a really nice thing to do because you actually have something you can touch and hold around your practice. And that's really nice. Also, it creates accountability for yourself. Of course, you can show it to someone else and have accountability with them. Hey, look at how often I practice. But even if you don't do that, it creates accountability for you because you can see on your notebook or in your calendar or on your spreadsheet or however you track how often you're practicing and how you're progressing on whatever metrics you happen to be measuring. So one last thing to say is that I notice for myself that I find tracking a bit arduous sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, oh man, I have to practice and now I have to write something down as well. And yet I know from experience that as long as I do it, like when I actually track that I learn a lot and it really helps my practice. It's so nice to see how often I've been practicing and to be able to remember, oh yeah, I totally had this realization last month and I've been using that all this month and yeah, it really is making my practice much better. So highly, highly recommend it. I recommend it to all my clients. I recommend it to you. Take care, enjoy practicing and give it a try. Let me know how it goes. See you next time, bye.